Happy Monday, everybody! I'm John, and today I want to talk about house rules. As I prepare to leave this apartment that I've lived in for the past two years, I've gotten very retrospective. I live here with three other people, and we have pretty much the best roommate relationship ever. We basically never fight. We're all still friends. It's gone really, really well. I think the overall key to our success has been very clearly defined house rules. When we moved in, we all sat down and we said, these are the rules for living here. And we've been flexible and added to this list as we've gone along. So some of you may be moving into a new place in the fall and it's never too late to reevaluate. So I want to share with you our house rules as sort of a template to base your own on. Keep the ones you like, lose the ones you don't. Rule number one, no stabbing, shanking, or other knife related acts of violence. Knife violence is pretty much one of the worst things that can happen between roommates. Do yourself a favor and just take it off the table. Rule number two, no bulimia. Eating disorders are a very real issue plaguing the young people of America these days. And so making a very clear rule that forbids one is a sure way to make sure your roommates don't go down that path. Rule number three, no pooping on anyone, including oneself. We all know how it gets. You have to go and the bathroom seems really far away and it just seems more convenient to just poop on whatever's available. But this can lead to foul odors and awkwardness. This rule is a must have. Rule number four, no messing up. Demanding perfection from one another is one of the main reasons that me and my roommates have remained perfect. Number five, pants are optional, underwear encouraged, and the absence of pants, underwear required. Now I'm not saying that you have to embrace our specific pants policies, but establishing a policy on pants at the beginning of a new roommate relationship is a great way to avoid any sort of awkward situations. Just sit down and decide when do you need to wear pants and when is it okay to go without. Rule number six, no muggles. The international statute of secrecy is hard enough to maintain out in public. Eliminating the mundane from your home will help to decrease stress and allow you to just relax. Now I know this rule seems really prejudiced, but it's too beneficial to just leave it out. Number seven, pancakes. Because you know, pancakes. Rule number eight, no suicide off the balcony. Can you imagine going out to the balcony for a lovely outdoor meal and having to explain to your guests that your roommate flung themselves from there just a few days ago? It's all about being considerate, internet. Of course, if you live on the ground floor, you don't need this one. Number nine, we are college. This was sort of our answer to YOLO because only living once is really counterintuitive to staying up too late or acting irresponsibly, but being college is pretty much the best reason to do these things. Plus, you know, sense of unity. We are college. Use it. Also, grad school totally still counts as college, so I'm still using this one. Rule number 10, you can't force a rule, it has to happen naturally. As your rules develop and grow, it's important that no one sets out to create new rules. This can lead to animosity and rules that really don't apply to your specific situation. It's much better that the rules just sort of evolve organically. And finally, rule number 11, don't rub the lamp if you don't want the genie to come out. It's just some family-friendly, wholesome, double entendre-free life advice. So there you go, those are our house rules. Steal them, change them, make your own. We found it's best to display these house rules in our common area with helpful visual aids. This way guests can easily learn them and we are constantly reminded of them. If you have any house rules that you think are important, share them in the comments below. And if you liked mine, hit the thumbs up on this video. Plus share this with any former, future, or current roommates. This like playing Super Smash Brothers in the other room while I'm trying to vlog has like become a thing and I'm really jealous of it. And I don't like it. Bye.